Hello, friends. So today I'm going to show you a not free option for reading ebooks and getting ebooks. But every so often we find a book that we just want so badly that we don't want to wait for it and we just want to buy it and start reading it. And this happens from time to time. I'm definitely someone who buys a ton of books, whether paper copies or online copies. But since we're focusing on ebooks and online reading right now, especially amid the pandemic, I thought I would show you the way that I find books that I want to buy and then end up reading them on my phone or on the computer. So the way that I find books is I typically already know which book I want and I go to Amazon. From Amazon, I search for the book. So recently I've been really wanting to read a book, um, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because they released a manga version. And so I'd really like to read that because I read the Fangirl book and so I'd really like to read the manga. So here's the book right here. It popped up pretty immediately and it shows me the paperback price, but I'm not trying to order it to be sent to my house. Instead, I wanna order it for an ebook. You're seeing right here that you can switch from paperback to Kindle and Comixology. So I'm gonna switch to that. And you can buy this book this way. So you can click buy now with one link. I have already bought this book, so I'm not going to buy it again. But so long as you're signed in to your Amazon account and have some sort of payment method together, you should be able to purchase the book. After you've bought the book, it will be delivered to your Kindle Cloud. So I'm going to show you my Kindle Cloud Reader. These are some of the books that I've uh, bought more recently and read more recently. Um, and you can see that I bought this book, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. You can log into your Kindle Cloud Reader by going to Google. So let me go out real quick, Google, and going to Kindle Cloud Reader. You're seeing it first, of course, it show, tries to show you Amazon Kindle in case you wanna buy one of those Kindle e-readers. But I'm just going to go to Kindle Cloud Reader and it might ask you to log in with your Amazon account in order to get you all the books that you that you've uh, downloaded or that you've bought. So after you have this screen open, you can read any of these books that you've bought by clicking them. And uh oh, maybe uh, I need to read this one on the app. Let's see if there's one that I can. Oh, here we go. So I can pull up Long Way Down. Some books it won't let you read. Um, on the computer, but it will let you read on your phone. And since I typically read on my phone, um, I think it's trying to show me that I should be on my phone right now. So here is the book Long Way Down, the graphic novel, which I also read and bought recently. And it will pull the book up for you. It has some options for you. You can go to the cover if you need to. You can go to the beginning if you need to, etc. And you can use these arrows to read. So you're seeing that it looks kind of like a book right now. So this is a really awesome book that I read really recently. Um, so I'm not going to show the whole book right now because of course that's a bad idea, but this is one way in which you can read a book online. So I'm gonna go back to my library and you can see any of these books are possibilities. So I also read a book recently called um, Unravel the Dusk. So that one should pull up for me. So for this one, with the text, it shows up a few different ways. So you're seeing right here the table of contents. And I can go to the prologue here. I can go to any of the chapters that I want to, and it'll pull up the text for me. So let's see if it'll do that. So here's the prologue right here. And if I feel like maybe this is too uh, big or the font is too small, I can change the size of the font. By coming up here and changing the size so I can make it bigger or smaller. I can make the page and the margins of the page uh, go out farther if I want to or come in closer. And I can change it so that it's in sepia or maybe in black if I like that better. 
So I'm going to apply these settings to make the text a little bit smaller and to change the screen to black. And you can see now it's smaller and it's done black on the background. I can also do a few other things. So perhaps I find a line that I really like and I want to hold on to it. So I can actually highlight a line and hold on to it. I can highlight it to hold on to it and now it's highlighted forever. And if I want to go to any of my saved highlighted lines, I can come up here to this button and it will show me the different lines that I've highlighted or that I've bookmarked in case I want to take a look at them or if I want to delete them and go back to them in my book. So you can see I've um, bookmarked a couple of different places in this book that I read because I really like them. And if I want to immediately go to them, I can click this button right here and it will load the page for me. So you can use this little bookmark button whenever you'd like. Maybe you really like the page. Maybe you found a line you really liked. You can keep those things as annotations on the Kindle Cloud Reader. Or you can synchronize with your phone if you're reading on your phone. So there are a lot of different options for things you can do with the Kindle Cloud Reader. One of the great things is that you can read on your phone, but then come on the computer and read too, or on a different phone, or on an iPad, or on a Kindle e-reader, and they'll all kind of sync up for you when you click this button. So even though this is a paid for way of reading, it is a really great way of reading as well. So hopefully this is helpful with you finding some books that you'd really like to read. Thank you for joining me.